Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a set of fitted molded mud guards or mud flaps onto a 2017 Kia Cerato YD series sedan, also known in international markets as the Kia Forte and the Kia K3. Just before I show you the mud flaps, just a bit about preparation. The car's been washed a couple of weeks ago. It was polished and I pay particular attention to the lower sills where the mud flaps will be covering some of the bodywork as well as cleaning inside the wheel arches because they will also be covering some of the, the wheel arches. So I don't want to be trapping any dirt and grime uh, inside the mud flaps when they're installed. So these mud flaps are designed for the Kia Cerato Forte K3 sedan, the YD series. I bought these from a Chinese seller. They were about $36 including shipping, but you can also buy them from Australian sellers. They're exactly the same product, but they're about $100. So it's up to you whether you want faster shipping effectively or you're happy to wait. It took about two weeks for these to come, so I was happy to wait the two weeks. I don't think that's an unreasonable amount of time for international shipping and I was in no rush to get them. So let's just take a quick look. So I think this was a bit of overkill, the foam packaging, because the mud flaps are not really going to get damaged, but fine. Here's the kind of nondescript box here. Mudguard Katina. 4S Professional Supply and the only indication that they're for this car we've got here Forte 2017-2018 Let's open up the box We've got some fixing screws here and then the mud flaps in slightly smaller than uh, the mud flap packaging There's no markings for uh, whereabouts on the car these fit so you just need to um, go around and just kind of test fit them quality is very good as i said they're molded for this particular car so they've got the screw holes which line up with the screw holes on the car that uh, fix the wheel arch liner with the exception of the rear uh, this one here that hole there so there's no corresponding hole on the car for that one so the only uh, need for these screws is just to fix the top of the rear mud flaps onto the car but you can otherwise use existing screws on the car. In terms of tools for the job, there's not really much you need. Um, you could, in theory, not even worry about jacking the car up and removing the tyres because you can at least get to the front fairly easy with a Phillips head screwdriver here and here. But um, just for the purpose of the video, I will jack the car up and remove the wheels, in which case you need a wheel brace uh, and or a torque wrench. It's up to you how easy you want to make it for yourself, but I'll just use a torque wrench to uh, remove the wheels and then when I put the wheels back on I torque them back up and then I just use a wheel brace to finish them off and this car is fairly light so I should be able to jack up the entire side with um, this uh, trolley jack The left front wheel here, there's just two screws that fix the wheel arch liner in. We just need to remove those. The mud flap goes straight over the top and then we screw these back in. give you a closer look at that so you can see here it's molds quite well to the shape of the, the car panel so and it's very secure so yeah very happy with that now onto the rear okay we're at the rear left wheel now and in terms of fixing this one I, I recommend leaving this one in place because there's no corresponding hole that lines up so this one here at the bottom lines up with this one this one here, there's no corresponding hole, so we're going to use one of the screws that were supplied with the mud flaps to fix that one in place. So I'd recommend just leaving this one alone. And it won't bulge or anything out uh, because it's quite recessed compared to the, the rear bumper. So it'll just be fixed like that in place. Very secure. Um, but yeah, we'll just leave that one alone.
just put one of the uh, supply screws in there now and then we're done. Quick look at the rear mud flap installed. So it's all flush against the rear bumper. There is a hole there in the molding, but there's nothing to actually uh, fix it to. And where a hole, I guess, should have been, there isn't one. So I've had to put one of the supplied screws in. But otherwise, very happy with it. And uh, it's all, you know, feels firm. It's not going to move or anything like that. So what I'll do now is uh, reinstall the rear wheel and then close the video. I won't film the other side because it is uh, an identical process. Uh, and you're probably already getting bored. So rear wheel back on and then I'll close the video. Okay, job done. Any comments or questions, leave them below and I'll get back to you. And as always, thanks for watching. Cheers.